Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your work and finance advice readings. Um, and we're going to be doing a bi-weekly this time. Okay, this is typically a weekly reading, but this time it's going to have to be bi-weekly because I have a trip planned for next week for a few days in the week. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that we're covering uh, the whole time frame, okay? And so it's going to be for the weeks of the 20th and the 27th of March 2017, uh, specific for work, finance, studies, how you earn your living, um, that sort of, um, that section, okay? Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please remember that these are general readings, so they're going to make sense to some of you and they're not going to apply to others, and that's okay, it's normal, they are general readings. Um, you could watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. And of course, uh, if you want a reading that is specific for you, uh, go ahead and get a private reading, okay? All the links you need are in the description box below. Um, we are going to have a look at what's coming up during this time in terms of opportunities, things to be aware of, okay, for work, finance, studies, and so on, okay? So thank you again for joining me. Enjoy your readings. Uh, have a wonderful time ahead, and I will talk to you again very soon. Take care. Hi Cancer and welcome to your reading. So let's look at what the weeks of the 20th and 27th have in store for you when it comes to work, finances, studies, that sort of thing. So at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy. We do have the 10 of wands. And so with the 10 of wands here, it can talk about a very, very busy time. Uh, it can talk about a time when you are, it's almost like everyone else in the department is, is gone or off or just not doing their work and you have to pick it up you have to uh, do your job and also the jobs of other people so it could be something like that going on here carrying the burden for everyone else uh, with this ten of wands the ten of wands can also talk about a time uh, where or when a stressful situation comes to an end okay so if you have been struggling to find a job you could be looking at um, finally hearing back, okay, and you get a job offer. This could be with the Ten of Wands, a time when you have to prioritize, where you have to use, uh, you know, your time management skills and uh, make sure that you're focusing on the things that absolutely need your attention and then whatever else can wait or whatever else other people can do for themselves, then they're just going to have to pick up the slack on that, okay? It is a time for taking care of your own responsibilities and just kind of delegating everything else that can be delegated to other people. It's also a card that is asking you not to take on the world on your own. Um, if you are having trouble with trusting people to do a good job or anything like that, seriously, if you try to do everything yourself, um, it's just going to get messed up eventually anyway because it's too much, it's tiring you out, you're exhausted, you're not sleeping right, you're not eating right, and you're gonna make mistakes, okay? So it's really important that you take on the things that are either more delicate or more pressing, more urgent, but what can be delegated, it's really important to trust the people that you're working with uh, and delegate, okay? So that it doesn't get to you and wears you out, okay? Let's look at your other cards here. We do have the Nine of Cups, which is your wish card here. We have the Four of Wands, which is a great card to have. We have the Hermit, Major Arcana, the World, Major Arcana, and the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So it can be a really big week for you, uh, or you know, two weeks, because we're looking at two week time frames. Um, and for some of you, this is a job change. For others, this is the wait is over. Okay, you've been looking for a job, you've been struggling, you're getting the job this uh, during this time. Um, for others, this is about moving up and promotion, and you've been sacrificing everything, and you've been working yourself sick to get yourself to this point and it's happening, you finally get it, okay? You get the yes, you get the wish, it's coming true for you. You see that promotion, you see that celebration, uh, you see those new doors opening up for you. Now you're you're an expert in your field. Now you, uh, you're you someone people go to for guidance, for advice, for direction. You're uh, moving up, you're a supervisor, you're a manager, you're a director, you're in charge of other people, you're in charge of security, you're in charge of uh, sensitive information, confidential information, that sort of thing. Um, and with the world, this is definitely a time to celebrate. This is definitely a time of uh, completion and new beginnings, success, okay? Uh, being in the spotlight, receiving excellent reviews. Could also be a time for 
travel and we also have the wheel of fortune here so definitely some changes or uh, turns of events happening here um, for you during this time frame I do feel like a lot of them are related to getting a job especially if you've been struggling for a while um, promotion or advancement of any kind really um, with work getting a job out of college or getting a job out of university or being scouted also comes up here and for others, this is about your dream job this is about doing what you love to do this is also about success so whatever you've been working on that you've been busting your back for okay with this ten of wands whatever you, this is for you um, you're getting the news that you want to get you're getting the the reviews that you've been wanting to get you're impressing everyone okay uh, you can be very proud of your work and you hear that a lot you should be proud of your work with the four of wands this is about success it is about celebration it is about new opportunities it could also represent solidifying your position within a company it could represent just you know being made permanent maybe you've been temping or maybe you've been in your probation period and they have been working you sick um, but now they're making you permanent okay now you got that permanent contract with the four of wands here the hermit can also talk about for some of you additional training happening this week or research and this could be uh, official training that the company provides but it could also be research you're doing on your own so that you can be better at your job okay or you can kind of get ahead of the competition and stand out that sort of thing research is also coming up here um, and with the world card and the wheel of fortune for during this time frame some of you could be traveling uh, and so you're kind of away from work you could be going on a holiday or you're traveling for work okay with these cards here but for those of you it could also talk about a uh, a move you're changing residence okay with the world card and the wheel of fortune for some of you what this is it's talking about maybe you've been abroad and working within a company working within your company but abroad in the abroad offices okay in the offices abroad or whatever you want to call them, you know what I mean um, and now you got the information now you got the knowledge now you got that experience and you're going back home okay and working in the company office back home so it could be that sort of thing okay with these cards here and for others because they're making such a great impression they're sending you abroad or they're sending you to get trained or they're sending you to uh, host uh, a training course or any other kind of course uh, or to talk to clients directly okay to um, be responsible for getting new clients new contracts that sort of thing and so you could be traveling the world for your job during this time frame let's see what else we're getting here For some of you this is about time off okay because the hermit can also represent going within kind of withdrawing taking a step back so i feel that you are reaching important goals in your work and at some point during this time frame you're taking some time for yourself maybe for a trip uh, to do with family or a trip to do with uh, other responsibilities outside of your work situation or you're just taking some time off um, with these energies to travel the world uh, or you're taking time off because you have to move could be that as well with the ten of wands there as well and the four of wands for others this is about getting approved getting that loan or getting that mortgage okay with the four of wands here it could be a new home for you and you've been talking to advisors you've been doing everything they've asked you this is also about providing information putting together paperwork uh, giving them all the files they're asking for uh, passing all the checks they're doing and you get the answer okay you get your wish you get the yes and you're finally moving and it's your dream home okay so for some of you that could be what's going on here so we're looking at new job opportunities finally getting a new job and this is significant this is something big uh, it's a big opportunity for you or it's your dream job okay uh, if you do well here it can really take you very far into the future it can give you a very happy future with that company or where you where you are um, for others of you this is about reaching your goals and being promoted being celebrated receiving that pay raise receiving that bonus uh, receiving um, additional responsibility more uh, authority 
added perks, benefits, that sort of thing. Maybe you're getting a company car. Maybe the company is sending you someplace and they're housing you. You know, they're putting you up in a nice hotel or something like that. Or they're just giving you an apartment or something like that while you're away. Further, this is about getting the money you've been asking for, uh, getting the loan. Mortgage is definitely coming through here. The Hermit, the Four Ones, the Ten of Wands, the World of Wheel of Fortune. Um, moving comes up very strongly here. For those of you who are taking time off because you're getting married, or you're attending a wedding, uh, or a christening, something like that in the family, with the Four of Wands here as well, the World of Wheel of Fortune, maybe you're going abroad for this. But it's definitely a very happy time for celebration and lots of opportunities coming up for you. So keep your eyes open and make sure that uh, you don't dismiss any opportunity. Look into all the opportunities you're getting to make sure that either, you know, if you're saying no to something, it is truly not for you um, and you're not just rushing in and saying no um, after a surface level um, look at that opportunity because you could be looking at game-changing opportunities life-changing opportunities with the world and the wheel of fortune happening for you during this time frame it's also an energy of looking where you're going okay don't it's, a, it's an energy that says don't shy away from opportunities don't pretend you don't see opportunities uh, don't be stubborn okay to keep something going, especially if it's been very draining for you, very exhausting for you, affecting your work, affecting your health. Don't be stubborn and you know trying to stay there. If opportunities are presented to you, that is the hand of fate with the Wheel of Fortune here, look into them, give them a chance because they can truly be wishes coming true, life-changing opportunities for you happening during this time. So it's really important that you try to go with the flow and not not against it okay when the wheel of fortune is here also um i hear um happy returns karmic blessings return on investments um also coming up here for you in terms of your money in terms of what you've invested in But yeah, that's your reading. These are a few of the messages coming through for you here. Excellent reading, probably the best I've done so far. Um, do let me know what this is for you. I hope it applies to as many of you as possible. It, it can apply to everyone, although I hope you know it does apply to as many of you as possible. Um, but let me know what this is for you if the cards do apply to you. Um, be sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. Um, but yeah, should be a really great time. It's also an energy that says, again, don't be stubborn and ask for the guidance or receive the guidance, accept the guidance when it's given to you. Someone's trying to teach you how to do things. Don't be stubborn. Okay, that's another one coming through. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed your reading. I hope you have an excellent time ahead. I'm looking forward to your comments. Thank you very much for your support. Enjoy your uh, time ahead, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Okay, take care.